The DaVinci Resolve Sound Library is such an underrated feature of DaVinci Resolve 17, and it can really help you when working with sound effects. Using sound effects to enhance the overall sound mix of your productions is one thing that you can do to immediately elevate the quality of your work. But the big questions are, where do you find high quality sound effects for your videos? How do you manage all the media? And then make these sound effects readily available for you to work with when you're in the depth of an edit. Well, the DaVinci Resolve Sound Library is here to save the day, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up your DaVinci Resolve Sound Library properly, where to get some awesome royalty-free sound effects, and then how to bring all of this together to speed up your video editing. Okay, let's just dive right on into the good stuff. First things first, if you don't know what the DaVinci Resolve Sound Library is, then it's this section here of the DaVinci Resolve interface. And when opened, it reveals a panel, much like the effects library, where you can add, find, and audition all the different sounds that you might want to use within your project. You can find the Sound Library in the Fairlight and edit pages, but it has extra powerful features in the Fairlight page, so we're gonna focus our attention here. But here's my big pro tip for using the DaVinci Resolve Sound Library. Before you crack on and start adding collections of sound effects to the Sound Library, we do need to do something first to make your life a whole lot easier. Because the Sound Library uses the database structure of DaVinci Resolve, each individual database can have different sound effects collections added to it, and the cool thing is that you can choose to view sound effects from any of the different databases on your system regardless of the database that your project is currently in. I hope you followed me, because it was quite complicated, but let's break it back down. The problem with this database structure is that it can become a little bit messy and hard to manage, so my recommendation is to create a new disk database or PostgreSQL if you're working in a shared network environment, and specifically make this for your sound effects collections. Let me show you how to do that really quickly. Okay, so to set up a database, once you're in the project manager, you simply need to come up to this little icon in the top left, which is the show hide databases button. Click that and it'll pop out a little menu, which is where our databases all live. And we're gonna create a new database just for the sound effects. So come to new database, and you can do either disk or PostgreSQL, depending on which one you're needing. Obviously, if you're in a shared environment, network environment, that would be great. Disk, otherwise, is what we need. You can give it a thumbnail if you need, but for the time being, we're just going to give it a name of sound effects, or whatever you'd like to call it, but sound effects works for me. And we're going to find a location to put it. So we're just going to quickly navigate to our location where I keep our resolve databases. And what I'm going to do is going to always put my databases in a folder. So I, and I can name it exactly the same as the database itself. So that's in there. And then what we'll do is just simply select that, press open, and then hit create. And now that's created a new database purely for the sound effects. We don't need to put anything in it. And actually what I'm going to do is come back to the project that we're looking at, which is this one here, and then open this one up. Now with that done, we can start adding sound effects to the DaVinci Resolve Sound Library. And one of the big questions I get asked a lot by my clients and students is, where the heck do I get decent royalty-free sound effects from? Now, there's a ton of places to get sound effects from on the web, but here's a couple of my recommendations. Firstly, if you want free sound effects, then Blackmagic Design have you covered, as they have a totally free to download Fairlight Sound Library collection available on the support page of their website. Simply head over to blackmagicdesign.com forward slash support, click on the product family for DaVinci Resolve and Fusion software, then scroll on down into the latest downloads column until you find the Blackmagic Fairlight Sound Library 1.0. Follow the instructions to download this and then open the installer. This will guide you through the installation process. On a PC, you get to choose the file path for the Fairlight Sound Library, but on a Mac, you do not. Not sure why. Why, God, why? But by default, it installs into your movies folder within your user account. Once that's finished installing, you are ready to add these sound effects to your project in DaVinci Resolve. Before we do that though, one of the things with sound effects collections i found over the years is that they are an ever-evolving and growing beast because they don't always contain every perfect sound effects that you could ever want for any given moment in your project. So you occasionally require more than just one sound effects collection and continue with downloading more. Free collections also don't tend to get updated that regularly either. And I know that Adobe has a very complete sound effects collection, but it hasn't been updated in a while, although it is free, but I honestly found that it was totally overkill for my needs, as there's so many sounds to choose from, a lot that I could never really use or want to use. You can't really preview them either easily before downloading or installing them, and it takes up lots of space on your hard drive. And the Blackmagic Fairlight Sound Library alone is about 1.2 gig, and I think the Adobe one is much bigger. So if you'd like to save yourself a lot of time previewing endless different sound effects and have access to a regularly updated set of sounds that you can download and use in any production, then I highly recommend checking out 
audio.com. Audio.com have recently added sound effects to their existing database of excellent quality royalty free music and are ever expanding both of these catalogues. One of the main things I like about audio.com is that the interface is really clean and easy to navigate. Finding the right piece of music or sound effect is easy as they have categorized them using useful labels that actually mean something to us video editors. And they have a very handy filtering tool that allows you to focus your search depending on the mood, genre and video theme of your project. You can easily create your own playlists and add music tracks to a favorites list too. I've been personally using audio.com for some time professionally and generally think it's superb value for money. They currently offer a lifetime music subscription for $199 and then a separate lifetime sound effects subscription for $199 as well. Or you can just pay monthly for Audio Pro, which is $199 annually. Audio Pro gives you the same benefits as lifetime options, but it also covers you for TV and OTT broadcasters like Netflix and Hulu. So if you like the sound of audio.com, then the link is on the screen and in the description below. Full transparency, audio.com have not sponsored this video or paid me to say nice things about them. They also don't get a chance to see this before it's published, but I do use their service and I think it's well worth the mention. They have, however, kindly provided me with a code that will reduce the price of any subscription by 10% for you. The link is affiliated, which means that not only do you save on your subscription, but I will receive a very small commission when you do. That commission will go directly back into making more free videos and tutorials for the channel. So if you do use the link and bag a discount, Discount on your subscription, then thank you very much indeed. Now let's get on and add some sound effects to our DaVinci Resolve sound library and it is really very straightforward. Okay, so here we are in the Fairlight page of DaVinci Resolve and we've just got a very simple timeline prepared for us. So I'll just jump over to the edit page and show you that quickly. So we have just really a simple clip, just chat, cocking a gun and then firing three times. And what I've just done, there's no audio at all as you can hear. And all I want to do is enhance this particular clip's presence by adding some music and some sound effects. And we're gonna add some music, and these are the sort of different sound effects that I've just marked out. And I'll just pop markers in to help us indicate where we're gonna put those. So just a very simple timeline. Let's jump over to the Fairlight page, and let's open up the sound library. So this is after I've installed the Fairlight sound library, and there's nothing showing here, as you can see. And what we need to do is just pay close attention to this little icon here. This is the icon that allows us to change the database that we're looking at for the sound library. So if I click this, a little drop down appears and you can see that I've already got the Fairlight sound library selected. But why is there nothing showing in the sound library? Well, this is a little bit of a quirk of the sound library. What you have to do to see all of the different clips or sound effects in your sound library is to type asterisk asterisk or asterisk three times and then they will all show up. So now we can show everything. So this is now it shows all of the different sounds that we have as part of that Fairlight sound library. And you can see there's quite a lot, which is great. So we have lots to pick from. Now you can also see that there's a rating system here. So you can actually rate the different clips as well so that you can find your favorites much more quickly and you get a very quick visual representation of the waveform as well as a little bit of a description. So really useful, 515 tracks altogether. Of course, you don't need to type in three asterisks. You can also just search for something that you're looking for. So in this case, I'm looking for a gun sound effect and there's a gun load cock click sound effect. So let's just listen to this one and we just simply can double click it to give us that kind of effect. Or we can just, once we've loaded it up into this top area, we can press to listen through and see what we think. And under here, you've got a zoomed waveform and then you've got a wide waveform at the top showing you all of the actual sound effect file there. To actually scrub through, what you need to do is you can't actually drag on the image itself. You have to use this little area here and you can then drag through here. Okay, so that's a quite a nice sound effect, particularly for this little section of the, of the clip that we're looking for. Now, to make this a little bit easier, what I have done is I've just added a sound effects track and a music track. So we have the two tracks that we're gonna add our different pieces to. The first thing I want to do is I want to add some music. And obviously the music isn't in the sound library, it's in our media pool. So I just need to open up the media pool. This is some music that I already have organized from audio. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just drag that in, drop it on our music. And I basically have selected the first little section of the clip and I'm just gonna quickly zoom out using these sliders here to quickly zoom us out a little bit. And I'm just gonna actually bring this down just a touch. Now obviously with Fairlight, we're focusing on our video and we have got our little video player up in the top right. But the problem is that we can't see our actual video and, and sort of where it finishes. And obviously it finishes about here. So it'd be really useful to be able to see the video, at least the video track. So to do that, come up to this little icon here and then click and you've got the timeline options. 
click this one here to show video tracks and now you can see the video track showing so we can actually see where we need to trim our audio to now what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to trim off some of the front just to add the level of tension because I want it to sort of build but the early parts are a little bit quiet so I'm just going to bring it in here and then just trim that to fit it's only really for demonstration purposes but you'll, you'll get the impression and I'm just going to drag out that fade handle just a little bit just to give us a sort of a bit of a slow slower build so listen to what that sounds like now Excellent. So we've got some sound and we've sort of got that tension building in the scene quite nicely. I might just drop the music a little bit as well, just drop the volume by grabbing the central volume control rubber band and then just... There we go. So we've got a little bit of tension going and now it would really add to the scene to add some sound effects to it. So this is where we're going to jump back to our sound library. So jumping back into the sound library, we've already got our gun load cock click ready to go. And what we want to do is add this to our timeline. Now, of course, we can do this. Just click on the clip, drag it, and it then adds it to the timeline. And there it is, ready in the timeline and waiting for us. However, that's not always a very efficient way of doing things because once we've dragged it down, we then have to reposition it and we have to get it in just the right sort of spot, which, you know, it didn't take too long, but there is a neater way to do that in the sound library. So let's just undo that couple of times and get it back to where we were. So in the sound library, if you look in the top interface here, what you'll see is that we have a couple of things. One is the audition button. Now what we can do is if we sort of roll this through and we want to trial this particular sound effect and see what it sounds like, then what we can do is just use the audition button. Now before we do that, we have to select the track that we're going to add this sound effect to. So select the track and then press audition. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna audition that particular sound effect into the track. But at the moment, it's not committed. It's not gonna stay there necessarily unless we hit the confirm button. So now we can have a listen to what that sounds like. And obviously we can hear it's not quite in the right place, but obviously we could reposition it ever so slightly if we wanted to. And one of the reasons that it's not quite in the right place is because if you look just down here, on the actual sound effect itself, there's a little green line, and this indicates the sync point. And this can actually be set by pressing this little icon here, the set sync point, which is really very useful indeed. So what I can do is let's say that is the part where he starts pulling the gun back, and the same part of the sound effect is here. Then what I need to do is I need to set my sync point to this particular part of the clip. So if I do that, watch what happens to the little green marker below. I click it and it has moved. You can see it's now moved to the same, position as we had just set it to. And now if I make sure my playhead's position where I want that sound and that sync point to make, make contact with the, the track, simply select the track and then press audition. And you can see how that's now in the, a much better position and we can quickly check. Cool, that actually starts to make sense and is looking pretty good. We might even want to emphasize that a little bit just by turning the volume up. There we go, brilliant. Let's confirm that and it's now a confirmed edit into the timeline. So that's really good. So that was a nice quick way of working. We could addition and we could very quickly also then set a sync point and make sure that our edit is absolutely frame accurate for where we want those sound effects to appear. Now obviously that was fantastic because we have a Fairlight Sound Library and we had the perfect sound effect for this particular moment in the clip. But unfortunately at the time we have a gunshot, we need a gunshot sound and there isn't actually a perfectly good shot sound effect in the Fairlight Sound Library. So we're gonna to have to add our own. So for this instance, I'm just gonna clear our search. And again, I'm gonna go back using, if it's obviously been cleared away, you can come back to the databases by clicking on this icon. And then I'm gonna come down and find, if you remember, that sound effects database that we created earlier, click the sound effects and load that database. And once that loads, you'll see that again, there's no library connected and that we can add a library. This is where we can start adding in our different sound effects to this particular library. So we can either use the add library button or we can come up to the ellipsis up here and add a library this way. So add library and we're gonna navigate again to where we've stored our sound effects for this particular video. And this is a sound effect that we've got coming from audio. So I'm just gonna add this in here. And you can see it's done a scan and found that we've got one clip out of one is going to be added to the sound library. And again, by default, nothing shows at all, which is a very interesting odd one. But if I put my three asterisks in again, we'll see I've got my pistol handgun, which I can now load up and listen to. Pretty good, just what we need. So what again I'm going to do based on what we did earlier. I'm going to find the loud point for my gun blast. I'm going to set a sync point. Now this doesn't have a sync point already set, so watch what happens when I set it. 
we get a green line up here. And actually you can see that my sync point might be a little bit off. So we'll just see where that is in the, in the minute. But what we're gonna do, position our playhead again, make sure our sound effects track is selected, and we're gonna audition that into the timeline. And you can see, yeah, it's not too bad. It looks like it might be a bit off. Not too bad, let's have a look. Okay, that's pretty good, we'll leave that there. And actually what we can do here is now reposition our playhead. And this is where it becomes really quite quick. In fact, let me just make sure that's super accurate. There we go. Make sure the track's selected again, and I can confirm that change. And then I can also audition again, confirm, and then I can go to my next marker by pressing shift and the down arrow. And then what I can also do is then audition again for the third shot. Oh, need to make sure my track's selected, audition it again, and then confirm that. Perfect, and now what you can see, if we just maybe lower that gunshot just a smidge, and now what you can see, if I just zoom out completely, we have our sequence that's been added very quickly. We've had some sound effects added to it, some music added to it, and now I think you'll appreciate it looks completely different. Pretty cool, very quick way of working inside DaVinci Resolve, adding sound effects, really amping up the professional standard of your video production, and all done within the sound library, and it keeps it really neat and tidy, makes it very quick and easy for you to find your sound effects, keep them all nicely together and organized, and edit, and edit, and edit. So there you go, you see how powerful the DaVinci Resolve sound library is, and now you know how to use it properly, I'm sure you're going to be able to edit videos faster, and elevate your production level with some great royalty-free sound effects. I hope you learned something from this video and enjoyed it in some way. If you did, please take a moment just to hit the like button for me as it really is appreciated. And it helps the YouTube powers know to show this video to other people who also love video editing in DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions or comments, then please drop these in the comment section below and I will do my very best to get back to them as quickly as I can. Consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. And I believe that's currently about 90% of people who watch my videos. So, hey, join the 10% club and be notified about new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Otherwise, enjoy being creative everybody, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.